Are walls holding you back? Hi, I'm Heather, and this is my series on why I'm stuck. You may be feeling stuck in life due to the lack of people interaction or intimacy that you're experiencing. It is completely normal to put up walls if you've been hurt, if you've been let down, abused, etc. It is not okay for you to be treated like that. And it makes sense that you would want to put up walls to protect yourself. These could be emotional, mental, physical, and even spiritual walls. Walls look like not letting people get close, not wanting intimacy. It can look like fear of rejection, independence, and even self-reliance. Independence is fine, but if we're doing it because we're afraid of people, that's not. Yes, people can be awful sometimes. However, I promise not all people are awful, and most will work hard to protect other people. We're actually not meant to do life alone. We need interaction, acceptance, and love. It was revelatory when I read the scripture. It is not good for man to be alone, Genesis 2.18. One, God said this. God said it. The second one is that God said this before the fall. This is before sin entered the world and there was no pain. And God said man needs to have someone. The third is that God said this in regards to Adam. God was with Adam. So if God was with Adam and he still said it's not good for man to be alone— How much more do we need him? There are so many scripture verses about how we're supposed to carry each other's burdens. Galatians 6, 2, it says, treat each each other with kindness. There's submit one to another. That's Ephesians 5, 21. Be devoted one to another in love. That's Romans 12, 10. There are so many more. You can Google them. If scripture is not enough, there have been multiple medical studies though inhumane, performed through human existence and trying to prove various hypotheses on babies. The ages of the children had been about the same, and the constant was that they were fed, cleaned, and clothed. The variable has been that some were held and spoken to, and the other group was not. The ones that were not held, that were not touched, they weren't loved on, they weren't talked to, Even though the different studies that did these had various reasons why they did them, the result was the same. All the ones that weren't touched, almost all of them died pretty quickly. So we need interaction with people. Yes, adults grow and develop resilience, but a life without love and connection is lacking. In our bodies, when we experience physical touch, socializing, And acts of kindness, our brains produce oxytocin. This is considered the hugging drug. Oxytocin can induce anti-stress-like effects, such as reduction of blood pressure and cortisol levels. It increases pain thresholds. It exerts an anxiolytic-like effect or anxiety-reducing effect. And it stimulates various types of positive social interaction. In addition, it promotes growth and healing. Low or lack of oxytocin can look like irritability and inability to feel affectionate, heightened anxiety and fears, difficulty achieving orgasm, bigger appetite for sugary foods, and it's linked to depression. Just think about the lockdowns in 2020. All over the world, people were told not to be around each other and just look at what happened. It's not hard to find the data of the depression rates and worse that skyrocketed. I'm not advocating for you to go and just hook up with anybody. Please don't. Know that you do need human interaction. Yes, God made us all different. Some of us need a lot of human contact and others just need a small amount. Just like a cactus and a lily, they both need sun and they both need water. But if you mix up who needs what, you'll stress the plant and even kill it. The temperament profile that I use helps do a great job of clarifying what level of social interaction and even 
personal, intimate affection that each person needs? Have you recognized a need that you have for people? Or even a need for more quality relationships? Start with those that you know and you trust. Schedule a coffee, a walk, a dinner, something that will get those conversations rolling. Do it and don't flake on them. If you are needing people, there are lots of ways to meet new people for potential relationships. Try a hobby group on community sites or networking groups. Try Bible studies and small groups. You can even start one. Who are those already in your vicinity? These are the people in your neighborhood, a coworker, another student. What if you are who that person needs and is looking for? They actually might need a relationship too. What if you are still recognizing walls that you have? Please talk to someone that you trust, a friend, a pastor, a leader, a counselor. Yes, working on your past pain, the previous experiences you've had that have caused you great harm, those are really uncomfortable and painful. But what if work in this meantime can actually lead you to peace and joy in your future? You are worth it and worth working on. If this is something that you're interested in talking with me about or working on, I would love to meet with you. Please contact me. My information is in my description. Thank you.